and welcome to Crime and Justice. This is just a little taster of what is to come on Thursday evening on my live. We're talking about Chris Proudfoot and why he is so angry. But it's so arrogant, so condescending. It's like everything has got to be his way. Or he's not having it. Now, I think some people know, I've been typing up the t transcripts for this, these videos, these interviews that he's done, Chris and Kate has done, and I'm going to do some on Seth, don't worry. And I come across some interesting bits. It's when you're typing it up, you notice what people are saying. Now, on this one live, uh, it was an interview, it was a live for the web sleuths, web sleuths for the private investigator, which is no more longer the private investigator for Seth, but she was for Seth, and her name was Chloe. And they're doing an interview with her. Chris comes up, oh, he's not happy because he's not liking what he's hearing. Now, after part of the way through, there's someone wants to come up on the panel. I'm not keen on this guy, and neither were a lot of other people. Because in the chat, they were saying, putting, why is he up there? Why is he come up? You know what I mean? But what, gets, what got me was the host. Now, bear in mind, this wasn't an interview with Chris. This was an interview with Chloe, the private investigator. They only, they accepted him up on the panel. They didn't, the invite hadn't been sent out to him because it's for a private investigator. But he wanted up on the panel, so they accepted him up on the panel. And as soon as he gets up on panel, it's, he wants it his way. Right? So anyway, someone else wanted to come up on the panel. And as you can see, the host goes, no. Okay, now there's someone that has been asking to come up. And the wording is, this goes, who? And she goes, Grey Hughes, he would like to talk to you, would you like? And Chris goes, you can bring that guy, you can bring that, you can bring that man up on board because I've talked to him and I respect him and I will talk to him. So she's literally... I'm sorry, but the interview wasn't for Chris. The interview was for Chloe. But Chris has sabotaged it all and took control of this interview. Right? And he, she's only, she's asking his permission to have someone up on her channel, on her panel. I wouldn't be asking Chris's permission. I'd be out saying, yes, coming up. Yep, it's a link. Whether that person liked him or not, I don't care. Why? Because it wasn't his live. It was a live interview on her channel for Chloe, the PI. He comes up and he takes control. And I don't like that. Now, I'm just going to play you the clip. Okay. There's somebody that has been asking to come on and uh, Gray Hughes, he would like to talk to you. Would you like you can him bring to that? You can bring that man on board because I've talked to him. I respect him and I will talk to him. Uh, Gray, I just sent you the Facebook link. So jump on up. Okay, Gray. I just sent it to your Facebook. Do you hear what she said? She she actually asked his permission to have this guy up on her channel. I know people want to show their guests respect and all that lot. I understand that. That show wasn't for him. He hijacked that live. And on Thursday, we're going to be looking at other clips on here as well. There's a clip where she mentions something about documents, Chloe does. And he goes, was that me, Seth, or Katie? He mentioned it first. 
He asked, was it me, Seth or Katie? So she said, Katie. And he said, but I didn't want to put the information out there because it didn't, it was highly personal and I didn't think it would help the case. And then he goes, was that when she was younger? And she goes, yes. And then a little while later, they do another interview and Chris is going berserk over what Chloe said. And I thought, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're the one who asked her who it was about. You're the one who said, was it when she was younger? Why? If you hadn't asked who it was about, people wouldn't have known it was about Katie. And I just find this man so condescending, so arrogant, so annoying. And at the end of the day, this is what Sebastian had to live with. So, till tomorrow, till Thursday, let me know in the comments what you think. Till then.